An amazing looking MMO has just dropped another trailer and a bunch of information for it, but what exactly is it and will it be good? Well, let's go through all of the new gameplay information that we've learnt about the game and answer some of your burning questions, as after doing a bunch of research for the game, we have some interesting information that you will want to know that will give you a better understanding of what this game is. So if you missed our reaction video on the channel already of the new gameplay trailer or just the trailer itself, then we're going to give you a top level recap so you can get up to speed on the basics. This game is called Chrono Odyssey. It's an upcoming MMORPG for both consoles and PC. The game is all about navigating a dangerous and ever-changing world with the use of time-based powers and other incredible abilities. It's good to note that this is a proper MMO with parties of heroes teaming up and large-scale world boss fights, which personally leave us quite excited. But the game is being developed by a relatively unknown studio called NPixel. The other game that NPixel is known for is Grand Saga, which is also yet to be released and is more geared towards the mobile platforms, and at one point it looked like Chrono Odyssey was going to follow suit, as when the game was first revealed back in 2020, the first trailer looked incredible. It was then announced for the release platforms for console and mobile, but now it looks like plans have changed and it's completely dropped the mobile aspect of its release platforms. But talking about platforms and dropping things, YouTube requires dropping likes down below if you are liking this video, or just interested to know more, then hitting that like button will let you know when we upload our next video, which should be pretty soon. But let's get back to the info. It's being developed in Unreal Engine 5, and you can already see this by the amazing looking visuals of the game, but this does have some of the gaming community concerned about the performance and how it will run on our PCs. Well, this is our overview of the game, but what are the developers saying about Chrono Odyssey? Luckily, we actually have a full press release, so let's go through some of the important bits. They say that today NPixel, a South Korean based game developer, unveiled a new gameplay trailer for Chrono Odyssey, an upcoming MMORPG that features stunning visuals powered by Unreal Engine 5, alongside innovative gameplay mechanics that allow players to manipulate time to redefine combat and the surrounding environment. Chrono Odyssey was originally announced in 2020 and will be coming to PC, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. To go into a bit more detail, here's what they say, quote, it is with our deep passion and appreciation appreciation that we unveil our trailer today. Chrono Odyssey is an ambitious project created by passionate developers and avid gamers who understand the power of immersive gaming experiences. End quote, and that is from Chrono Odyssey producer Samuel C.O. They also say the dynamic trailer captures the living and ever-changing world of Chrono Odyssey, which brings new weather and environments with each season. Additionally, the viewers will get an in-depth look at Chrono Odyssey's action-packed and innovative gameplay, which allows players to manipulate time and space during battles to explore alternative time timelines and solutions, all of which are further enhanced by the captivating musical artistry of legendary composer Chris Velasco. Do note he has worked on Fortnite, Resident Evil, Bloodborne and God of War, so that is pretty cool. The Chrono Odyssey technical director Ken Kang says, quote, We firmly believe MMORPGs serve as gateways to unforgettable experiences and cherished memories, formed through shared adventures and challenges. Chrono Odyssey is definitely ambitiously aiming to redefine the MMO genre with its stunning graphics powered by Unreal Engine 5. We're set to have a high degree of freedom in a seamless open world and a dynamic combat system that's further powered by the concept of time and space which we did see a bit of in that trailer. Within Chrono Odyssey we as the player can actually choose between six different distinct character classes though. The Swordsman, the Paladin, the Ranger, the Sorcerer, the Berserker, and the Assassin, which looks pretty cool. These are meant to have unique combat styles and mechanics to serve both immersive role-playing and co-op gameplay experiences, so it's good to see that they're definitely keeping the co-op aspect and the multiplayer aspect of how these parties work together in the MMO itself with party play in mind. So they definitely seem very passionate about this one, and as we pointed out in our reaction to the trailer, it could all just be buzzwords but having a passionate developer is always a good thing, because normally it leads to a much better game. Hopefully this is NPixel's time to shine and their passion will match their ambition though. But what about the world, the gameplay and the lore of Chrono Odyssey? We can get an idea of this from their official website and the PlayStation blog, which has put out an article on the game. Let's start with the world and lore as the theme of the game is probably one of the coolest parts. Here's what we know about the world of Cetera. They say, quote, Cetera is a world of unexplored regions, 
with rewards and riches yet unknown. Let your courage carry you to new regions as you face formidable foes. With your newly acquired control over space-time and the alliances you formed throughout your journeys, you may just yet conquer the lands you discover. There is one way through this world filled with opportunity, born of the chaos of warping time-space. Welcome to Cetera, the adventure is yours to be had. At first glance, Cetera may appear as a peaceful, beautiful land filled with nature. However, it is now the front lines of the war against the void, which has been ongoing since the beginning of time. This land is filled with dangers and chaos caused by twisted time and space and contradicting timelines. These same dangers provide countless mysteries and opportunities not afforded to any other world. Uncover the secrets behind Cetera's timeline and find a way to save everyone, including yourself. Personally, I do love a game with a bit of time travel in it, especially when it's intertwined with the story. So for me, this is ticking those boxes, but it will be curious to see how the rest of the story and the world pans out, as the setting and characters are super important to telling an interesting story. While we don't have any information on the characters that will be appearing, we did get a description of some of the factions, with two of the main factions being what we think are the World Movers and the Void. So here's what they say about them. The World Movers survived the Void's destruction of their home own world and escape to Cetera. All are blessed with extraordinary strength or luck that allows them to overcome a multitude of challenges and powerful foes. They are split up into three separate factions. Each faction's ultimate goal is the survival and prosperity of the world movers, and as such they work together towards a common goal. There is however a fierce competition behind them for influence, rights, and their own interest in pursuing these goals. For the Void though, they say it's a realization of nothingness and the cruel abyss. No one understands anything about the Void, with the exception of their ultimate goal, the complete destruction of all worlds. The powerful members of the Void are essentially immortal and wield unfathomable strength. The only reason Cetera is able to stand up and fight back against them is because Cetera itself also rejects the existence of the Void. This limits their power, however the Void is growing in numbers and strength, and you are the world's final hope. But in the trailer we did get some glimpses at the more fascinating creatures which will come in the form of large dragons and wyverns that do look like we will have to take them on in battle. One of the most impressive looking ones to us is this alien stingray looking dragon world boss, and we finally have a better understanding of how these creatures work, and they seem to be related to a faction called the Guardians, as on the official website, the images used for the Guardians is actually one of the creatures from the trailer. Here's what the developers have to say about them. The Guardians consist of the greater beings that oversee all of Cetera and those who follow them. They vary greatly in appearance and temperament, as they are not originally from this world. The Great Ones called upon them after each of their own worlds was destroyed by the Void. Due to their pasts, they view the contaminated World Movers as a severe threat. To them, the World Movers are an unwelcome guest, as well as enemies that must be eliminated. But what about the gameplay? We know that there's a blend of action combat and time-based powers in an MMO format. It will have a number of different classes, and those classes are once again Swordsman, Ranger, Sorcerer, Paladin, Berserker, and Assassin. Each class from the gameplay trailer looks pretty distinct, but let us know which one do you like the look of most, as they all look pretty decent. The Swordsman looks like it's going to be your traditional warrior class. The Ranger has a bow as a ranged option and evasive maneuvers too. The Sorcerer is your magic caster, and we can see them freezing enemies in place. The Paladin looks similar to the Swordsman, but uses a lance for more range. It will certainly be interesting to see what magical abilities this class has. The Berserker is your classic big boy with chonky axe attacks while the Assassin is probably my favourite because it looks pretty insane and is so fast attacking wielding dual lightning blades to great effect. For the combat we did actually get to see a variety of different short clips and it definitely gives me a feeling of Vindictus if you remember that game or even Black Desert Online but is a bit more slower paced and tactical. I'm super interested to get my hands on this one and try it out and see how it feels to play but here's what the dev team have to say about the combat. Combat is a thrilling experience that demands both unpredictability and control. Man Master the basics of attack, defense, dodge, and switch seamlessly between multiple weapons in real time, but be prepared for the unexpected. The enemy's attack patterns are as varied as they are deadly, adding an extra layer of tension to each encounter. So stay on your toes, hone your skills, and embrace the excitement of combat. We also get the time based abilities via the Chrono Tector. We got to see it used in two different ways. Players were able to rewind time to go back to where they previously were stood, kind of like Tracer from Overwatch, and also to slow down 
some time around them. The developers have actually expanded on this a bit in interviews and on the game's site. So here's some lore behind it. The Chronotector is a powerful artifact said to have been created by a mysterious and ancient civilization known only as the Great Ones. It holds the power to warp and manipulate time space to the holder's will. Though it has lost much of its original strength, it's still capable of twisting time and space to create effects irreplicable by even the world's most powerful magic. But how does this actually impact the gameplay? The Chronotector is basically like a secret weapon that can unlock your full potential and abilities in the game. It's a powerful force in the game that drives the storyline, helps you fight better, and makes you stronger. With its time-space powers, you can freeze time, go back in time, and explore other timelines to overcome tough challenges that you might otherwise think are impossible to beat. So it's both there to serve the narrative and the gameplay purpose, which is pretty cool, and all the animations for it in the trailer looked pretty good too. Again, they're really popping off when it comes to the theme of this. It has that base fantasy feel to it, but with the addition of time to mix it up a bit and make it fresh. And we love that the monster designs look unique and different to other games. We know that the game will be fully open world, and we will get to explore a variety of different environments. The world will also change over time, and if you look at this clip at the start of the trailer, it looks like it's hinting that we will get a time of day change to show more of the dynamic nature of the environment. All in all, the game looks great and exactly what the MMO community are currently hungry for, as we need that large-scale MMO that has passionate developers behind it. But we would recommend putting your caution optimistic hat on because there are a few red flags with it not having any release date just yet so it could be years of waiting or no release at all. This is still a relatively unknown studio and their other game Grand Saga was going to be one of those web 3 blockchain games with NFTs. It hasn't been released in the west yet but it was released in Japan and if we look at the Google Play Store it seems to have decent reviews so if anyone in the comments has played this then you should share your thoughts down below. We really hope this isn't going to be the case with Chrono Odyssey, but again those red flags are there. So keep your eyes out on this one and on our channel so you can keep up to date when more information drops. If you haven't seen them yet, you're going to want to see the full trailers, including the new one. So we've added them here for you to watch. Enjoy.
fail. The final moment comes when you least expect it in ways that are not foreseen. When nothing is right, when all is lost, the most vulnerable are stripped of all they possess. Perhaps just a misfortune and a belief that life will always deliver a fair trial. <laughs>